Good morning, guys. We are up early and ready. It's 9 a.m. We're up early. Happy Valentine's Day. We were up early. We were up super early. We are all, it's not Valentine's Day. Are you crazy? I got up at Let seven. Get money. So, so there's Nick, my youngest son, and his girlfriend, Jesse. I got and out of the shower at 7.30 and you're yeah. still lying in bed. Yeah, we were chatting in bed. Okay, other than the straight hair versus curly hair, don't they kind of look similar? No. <laughs> Nick, you're dating your sister. Yeah, he's got a big nose. Anyway, and Nick is the, one of the pallbearers and my other sons will be there. I want to get a picture of all three of them uh, together because they're not often all together. Anyway, yeah. good morning and I don't know what kind of day today is going to be because like I said, we're all headed to a funeral. We're all dressed. We ended up going up in the attic this morning. This is my funeral necklace. To find this dress. Yeah, because Gabby, Miss Picky, could not wear the dress she had picked out, so she found this one. It's a lacy one, and it's super and cute. Black, who cares? Yeah, as long as it's black, who cares, right? And Sophie always has to have a little bit of sparkle. It doesn't matter where it is, she has to have some sparkle. So this morning, Gabby was teaching us how to tell if somebody's lying. So try it. If you are lying, it means that you look to the left. If you're not lying, to the left. If you're not lying, you look to the right when you answer questions. So this morning, I asked the girls some questions to see if they were lying. And I asked Sophie, watch. Sophie, do you ever dream about kissing a boy? No. <laughs> she closed her eyes. When I asked her that this morning, she said, yes, of course I do. Every time I see a boy, I always pretend he's in love with me, but that's because she loves boys. Did you have to give the secret last away? Night she told me, last night she told me that she hates all boys when we were watching this movie. And um, I was like, speaking of the girl who had 5,000 boyfriends. When Sophie went to school, she loved all the boys, didn't you? No, they're just bad boys over there. You loved all just the bad boys? Just those one night taste of wow. <laughs> Crazy. Did, did you say you love the bad boys or just the good boys? Just good boys. Just good boys, the good girl. We are home from the funeral and it's gonna pour outside. We just made it before the rain came. What a fitting time for it to rain when somebody dies. It was super sad. Were you sad? Were you sad, Sophie? No. Even Mom was crying. Yeah, it was so sad for me. I, funerals are hard. He wasn't even was related to me. No, he was not related he was to me. He's only related to my brothers. But he was such a nice man. Such a nice man. Anyway, I was sad. It was a sad day. I'm was it hungry. a sad day? It's a hungry day. No, it's a hungry it's day. Hungry. We decided not to go to the reception. We just kind of decided we were just going to come home and, and do our own thing because. I'm not good with that stuff. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not good with that stuff. Anyway, my sons and their wives are there and that's what's the most important. All right, you guys, we totally suck. We uh, went out of town. We drove far away from our house and we forgot the camera. Yeah, we've never forgotten the camera. Yeah, anyway. totally suck. I know, I do. Bad so I'm vlogging with my phone, bad quality. We're at Dairy Queen. We came to eat because it was such a sad day. You know what I feel better and bring some joy back into our life. Did you cry today? No, she did. I did, because it was looks sad. Like she's, and you know who cried? Like she's crying on there. But you know who cried with me? Sad. You didn't have, You didn't have any sympathy for me. I didn't cry. Sophie cried. No, I didn't. Oh. Funerals are sad though, it's okay to feel. If like, you can't cry at a funeral, where else can you cry? Ow. Huh. Um, so, every time, time I yawn, I cry. It's actually true. Like I get tears in my eyes. Every time she yawns, she cries. But anyway, no, yeah, I just we get tears in my eyes. we're in the bathroom. We were in the bathroom 20 minutes ago when we were at home, or we had the bathroom 20 minutes ago when we left home. But nobody uses it. They always wait till we go shopping. All right, so Sophie got fries and a cheeseburger. I got a cheeseburger and a little thing of fries. What did you get, Gabby? Yeah. Chicken. Chicken strips. And this and. We're here at the TSE store and get, you can guess what we're doing. It's been a whole few weeks since we bought Schleich, so you know what that means. Oh, remember Azzy? Yeah. That's, your That's Azzy's bowl. I Let's think see. so. Let's see. Well, this there. one is, this one is, because it's curved. Oh, yeah, look at that one. I like this horse the best. Look at these are on sale. We already have that horse. We already have. 
I already oh, have it. Have one look at look at the prices. Okay. On this top row, reduced 50% to two ninety-seven. Oh, I like that guy. I love him. All right, what one do I want? Oh my gosh, I found mine. This one? No. This one? Oh. This little. That's a fool. Who cares? Look at how gorgeous this is. He reminds me of Ziggy. He reminds me of a baby Ziggy. Mama cow. I want him. What one do you like? This one and this one. Look at these two. You like those two? Don't we have ones like that? Come on. I like this gray one. And I love a baby Ziggy. Look at this baby Ziggy, Sophia. Hey guys, I love all of these, but I especially love. Can you guys see? It just totally stands out. Oh, the one that looks like Ziggy. Yeah. Look, this I'm one's holding a pig. I'm holding That's a, a pig. sign. Sophie's been holding a pig. Oh, he and it's actually a pig. Actually a schleich. Okay, that's a sign that we came to the Schleich store and we found a uh, baby Ziggy. Like, what kind of a sign is that? Is that a sign? No. Oh, come on. Look at the sign. I really need... You like that one? I really need a new horse for lessons. This is more like a baby Ziggy. Yeah, that was a sign. But it's Papa. Somehow. I really like the gray one. It's Papa. Papo? This is more like a baby Ziggy. More like a baby How Ziggy. How about, um, like, um, this is a Shire. Like, Do you have a Shire? Can you guess where I am? I'm in the trailer section. So the trailer stuff. Need to fix the trailer. Um, look at the lights. I mean, the lights work, but why not go LED? Why not make this trailer really nice, eh? So that's what I'm going to look at. Lights right behind me. Lights. Alright, I have a question. Do you guys use spurs on your horse? Don't those look painful? Why would you jab your horse with this? Look how sharp it is. Look how sharp it is. Why would you jab your horse with that? Anyways, do you guys use it just for green horses or do you use them at all? I wouldn't use them. They're too sharp. All right, this is just a test. This is just a test. Why do you have that in your mouth? I want to see what it's like to be a horse. Now pull on it. Somebody pull on it. <laughs> they have holes. They have holes in their mouth, and that goes like at the very back. They have no teeth there. That's where the bit sits in. Well, it's painful for me. It must be painful for a horse. Do you think it's painful it's for a horse? Cruel. It's, it's not, not cruel. It's not cruel? Okay, come over here. Is, let me see your opinion on these. Are these... Are you trying it too? It's not very fun. Let me it can't even fit in my mouth. Is this painful for a horse? Yes, if spurs. you don't Look use them properly. Spurs. I think jabbing anything into your side is painful. Look at that. It's got spikes. You see those spikes? I know. Daddy. Where do you get those bits? Yeah. Let's see. Let no thanks, you. no thanks, no thanks. Can we just poke you with one of these and see if it Where's hurts? Where's the bit? Bits. Bits are all up here. <coughs> and try it on. Hold right. Try it on for size. Now, pull on it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ow. But they have no teeth where they put it. It's like, True. if you think it's cruel, do it to yourself and see. Yeah, have you ever tried putting a bit in your mouth? Um, <laughs> click like button if you have tried putting a bit in your mouth okay. to see what it feels like. Which we'll get and zero. comment below if you've used spurs on your horse. Okay. Or even comment if you think you shouldn't use spurs on your horse. Because okay. I think those are painful. The guys. Do not put the bit in your horse's mouth first. Because <laughs> then right. it'll be disgusting. Or else you'll be eating their slobber. Go to a store and try it out. <laughs> Finally, we are home and I have the camera back. We've never had to vlog with our phones like that before. I don't think we've ever forgotten the camera when we've gone out. Anyway, the girls want to show you their new schleich. They just got one each today. So who did you get, Miss Sophia? I got this white male. She's pretty. And her name is 
princess and she's really, really snotty. She's really what? Snotty. How come she's snotty? Because she acts like she's a princess. Oh. A snotty one. Princess Bad what? Boy. Don't hit. We don't hit horses. Mm. What's her name? Princess. Princess. She's super cute. Okay, so Gabby got this one. Introduce us to your new horse, Gabby. <laughs> this is Red. Red. And her show name is Rocky Road. Rocky Road. She's really sweet. And she's our new lesson horse. She's our new lesson horse? Yeah. Cool. I needed a new lesson horse. <gasps> oh, guys, I forgot to mention <coughs> she does not show. She doesn't show? You know how you guys have been giving us advice about what, what kind of horses to buy and we've done a lot of reading and we have friends that are horse people and we kind of have an idea of what we want and what we need to do and you keep on saying, you know, don't buy a horse just for its looks and we know that, we would never do that. But you know what? I was thinking about it today. I've been bitten by this horse bug and I'm gonna get some books from the library tomorrow and start reading up on horses. That's how much I've been interested in them lately. And Whoa. I realize that I am only interested in horses that I love and I only love like, horses like, that look a certain way. Like yeah, you, yeah. like I feel like I have to be connected to a horse to want to buy it. Is that real, Gabby? Can we, is that a real thing? Yeah. Like, would you just buy? Would you be happy to have any horse, or would you have to feel a connection toward it? Have to feel a connection with them. Yeah. Like I don't understand. Every dog that we've ever gotten, we I've always decided that I liked it. I. I don't know. I just don't think I could just buy a horse because it looks good on paper. Well, you I think need Macy. Yeah, like I picked Macy off of a, off the computer, off of an ad based on what she looked like. Then we went to go and visit her and see what her personality was like, and then I did like her. And Toby, I was connected to him instantly. Like I knew as soon as I saw him that I wanted Same him. Same like me and Macy. First me and Macy. Basically, I bought Macy, and then Gabby looked at her and said, I'm stealing her. And Macy just came. Yeah, and Macy just went. But anyway, I don't know how all that works. How you, I don't know. I, and tell me in the comments below. I know you guys are going to anyway. How do you buy a horse that you don't have a connection with? That Do you buy horses that just look good on paper? Or do you buy horses that your heart connects to, even if they're not perfect, like you would maybe a dog or a cat? What do you think, Gabby? I'd rather have a connection with it then. But what if it was an ugly, ugly horse and you loved it? Just the connection? Yeah. I have never ever looked at a horse and been like, I love you never in my life until I met Ziggy. And I liked the way he looked. And then as time has gone on, what's endeared me to him is his personality. Everything about him is amazing. And that's what I love. But on paper, he is terrible. He's green. He is dumb. They say he's dumb. Even for a green horse, they say he does not get things very easily. I love that. Even if I never got to ride him, I love that horse. Look at this setup, you guys. This is insanity. We need more barns. We do pastures need more barns. Yeah, we need more bars. Girls are running out of room. I'm ending today's video, so bye guys. Subscribe down below, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Same as last time, so do that. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.